My name is Morgan Brown, and I'm here to give a demonstration speech about how to curl your hair. Say hello to my audience. And I'm gonna give you three easy ways to get long, luscious curls. Ever seen a Pantene commercial? Wondering how their curls always look so youthful and elegant? Well, I'm gonna give you three easy ways to do just that. The first thing to do is to prep your hair with heat protectant and making sure you brush your hair thoroughly before applying heat. The second thing is to start by curling your hair in different directions in which you please. And the third thing is styling. Preparation is a main factor that most people don't really rely on before applying heat to their hair. The high measure of heat can cause major heat damage, creating split ends that could eventually ruin your hair. By applying this heat protectant, it will create bonds around the ends of the cuticles of your hair to form a basically sunscreen for your hair to protect it from the heat. Once you apply the heat protectant, thoroughly brush your hair so that there are no tangles or knots within your hair before you apply the heat. The second thing is to separate. You can use a hair clip or a hair tie to separate your hair. And whether you have long hair, short hair, or thin or thick hair, separate your hair into sections in which you're able to reach them easily. And they're not super thick, but also not, there's not just a little bit of hair in a hair tie. The next thing is to make sure that the heat protectant is fully dried within your hair before you apply heat. Meg Bellmore is an author for Elle magazine in Australia and wrote an article named, What Does Heat Protectant Spray Actually Do to Your Hair? And basically throughout the article, she talks about how heat protectant helps release all the excess oils and moisture from your hair to help make sure that the damage to your hair is lessened by the protectant of the heat. The next thing in how to curl your hair is to start eventually curling. The first thing is to make sure that you find a tool that's right for you. It's very simple to curl your hair, but without the right tool, it might be difficult. I personally use a one inch curling iron and some people use wands, which is basically a curling iron without the clip. There's one inch, two inch, half inch, quarter inch, depending on what kind of curl you want is what kind of iron you should use. What I would do is start with the smallest section of hair that you have and start by slowly rotating the curling iron away from the front of your head. So if you start on the left side, I would go towards the back. Start from the front and end in the back. When you get to the back of your head, you can turn the curling iron any way you choose, as long as it's easy and doable for you. Start by taking the curling iron and go midway through your hair and to curl upwards. Once you hold it there for three to four seconds, and you can also use your fingers to touch the iron that your hair is on and feel how warm it is. Once you do that for three seconds, move the iron down to the end of your hair and rotate up again. Hold for another three to four seconds and then release. By doing this, it'll create the long luscious curls that you see in those commercials, and it'll create a more youthful and young look. When you get to the front of your head, this becomes a little more difficult because you have to make sure that you don't fry the ends of your hair by holding it there too long. So make sure that you do those pieces for a shorter amount of time. The next comes a fun part, which is styling. But I also want to go back to Megan Gostoff's Glamour article about how to curl hair. And this is where she focuses on the main steps about how to curl your hair and to focus on your front pieces and to make sure that there are certain ways to get those long luscious curls. When styling, it can be fun and exciting and you are able to use your own personality within it. You can be really, really creative with this by using headbands, barrettes, clips, etc., and expressing yourself in any way through your hair. In the 2000s, a lot of middle school and elementary school kids used to throw up in headbands that their mom just got them from justice. And now the trend has returned in a more mature way. Headbands that you can see on fashion bloggers and Instagrammers have taken over the trend. And I personally am a big fan of headbands and I love wearing new barrettes and trying out new trends. There are definitely new things to try out. And if you follow Fashion Jackson on Instagram, she is a main promoter about new things with styling in your hair. 
Now that we've gone over the three main steps, I want to finish up by going over what we did. There are multiple ways to curl your hair, and styling can be fun and effective. But in order to get the most out of curling your hair, you need to follow preparation, curling, and styling. Have fun, be creative, and be confident in your hair and a way to express yourself. Thank you. Do we have any questions? Yeah, where, where can I get uh, cute barrettes or headbands for my nieces in Texas? Well, a lot of places do sell these headbands and barrettes. There's free people, you can go on Amazon, or you can go to any small shop in the mall, and they will have different types of barrettes depending on the age. They might have less mature barrettes or clips or more mature. Yes, uh, what heat protectant do you use? I use, personally, the Redken 23 hairspray heat protectant that I found to be the most effective for myself. It creates a barrier around the end of my hair that protects it before I apply the heat, whether I straighten my hair or curl my hair, and I find that to be the best for, for preparing my hair for heat. Any other questions? How do you create the beachy looking curls? For beachy looking curls, I would get a larger size wand or curling iron and make sure that you hold it there for less time. And you can also add a little bit of texture spray to your hair once you curl it to create the kind of beachy, sandy texture to your hair that those beach curls do have. Now I know you said that, um, you said how to use the heat protectant, but um, where, where do you buy your heat protectant? Where do you recommend we should go to buy that product? Um, you can go to Sephora which has a lot of other different types of heat protectant as well, or you can also go to Ulta, which has a larger selection for hair products than Sephora does. So I would recommend Ulta over Sephora. Thank you. All right. Yay.